All right, adventurers. Welcome to All Play. I'm sure you can already tell. But we about to have some fun. We're going to play a game called Honey Pop. I'm going I'm to give you a little secret. I'm going to give you a little secret. The very first series on the channel that I had me show up, face cam and all, was Honey Pop a long time ago. A long time ago. Except those videos never made on the channel because they, they were of poor quality. They, they were not of the quality they're at right now. Uh, so I said I want to play Honey Pop. I like Honey Pop. It's a fun game. I've been playing a lot of match threes lately. Uh, match threes with some other element combined. This is a match three in a dating sim. We go have some fun, ladies and gentlemen. We go have some fun. Uh, let's get playing. Let's play it. Let's start date, uh, save data one as a male. Let's have some fun. Sunday night, we're at the bar. Hi there. Oh, I forgot they do all the voice acting, which is great because <laughs> I don't think I can hit all these voices. Uh, let's see. We'll make our decision. Uh, typically, when I play a game on the channel where I have to make a decision about uh, what to say, I typically respond how I would respond or which, with whichever one is the closest to how I would respond. So let's go ahead and uh, let, let's let's be like, what? Who? Me? Yeah, you. Uh, let's see. Which one would I say? Out of these, I wouldn't say any of them, but the closest would be this one. Oh, sorry. I just don't talk to many girls. I realistically don't talk to strangers like that, especially at the bar. Well, you're talking to a now, champ. <laughs> My name is Kiyu. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Uh, I'd be like Kiyu That's a different name I wouldn't say it's weird I wouldn't say it's weird My name being Chalandre and all You know Oh thanks No that's great I have a weird name <laughs> Look dude Are you gonna be alright Looks like you're having some trouble Holding it together over there Uh, I'd be like hmm. Nah I'm chill I'm chill. That's a fat load of shit, and you know it. Vulgar. Vulgar? Uh. Like, shit. Yeah, sorry. I should just go. Or you could just stop being so weird about it. Hmm, wait. You know what? This might actually work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. This is your lucky day, buddy. Listen. I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Night! Okay. So now we go from Sunday night to my bedroom. Hey, you. Rise and shine. We've got work to do. I said get up. All right, I'd... Say I'm up and then go right the hell back to sleep. Am I gonna have to pull the covers off? Uh, and then it would be, oh wait, who are you? Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar. All right, and I'd be a smart ass. I would absolutely be a smart ass right here. Yeah, but you had brown hair. Also, not wings. Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. Still be an asshole. I'd still be an asshole. Oh! Well, why didn't you just say so? <laughs> Funny. But let's leave the sarcasm to me, all right? You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. It's just well, what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. You, though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. Uh, Maybe the first one? Thanks, but no thanks. I'm doing just fine on my own. <laughs> no, but seriously, 
We need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? I would say, I mean, you know, an amount. Oh my god, it's worse than I thought, isn't it? All right, grab your shit. We're going on a date right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. <laughs> uh. All right, I'll try to make this click. This is the date grid. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead, give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. Okay, so it wants me to move this one in this position. Basically, I, I switch two, two shapes. Uh, and I can't just switch stuff freely. Whenever I switch something, it has to make a match. So, like that. See? Easy! Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid, the red ones. What for? How? I can't switch. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They don't have to switch side by side. I forgot. <laughs> That's one of the huge things to remember. They don't have to switch side by side. Like, for example, I'm clicking on this red one. So I can drag the red one anywhere on this horizontal line or anywhere on this vertical line. But wherever I drop it, it has to make a match. So right here is going to make a match of four. Sweet. Okay, what's next? Oh, right. Let me cover the other token types real quick. The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Finally, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Matching those gives you... Well, sentiment. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. Like I said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. Okay, so if I match the teardrops, it'll give me sentiment. It'll, it'll keep counting down here. And I need six sentiment to use the stuffed bear gift. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. So if I drag this, if I drag the stuffed bear to Kiyu, what it'll do is turn all the broken hearts, that's all the purple ones here, into passion tokens. That's the orange ones here. Cool, huh? There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So you can use them on your next date too. <laughs> Is that cool or what? All right, all right, I've gone on long enough. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. All right. So she was saying she won't let me fail because it is actually possible to do bad on a date. Uh, she didn't say why you earn extra moves. It's because this move counter down here will actually end if you reach zero. Uh, or the date will end if the move counter reaches zero. So you don't want to run out of moves on your date. Which we shouldn't. This isn't, this isn't too bad to where uh, I should run out of moves. Okay, earlier I said I have to move this shape, whichever one I'm grabbing, into a position where it makes a match. That's not true. Because if I do this, those two, the, the three hearts and then the three uh, green circles will make a match. There we go. There we go. Getting my, getting my words right. 
Getting my words right. Like I said, I actually enjoy this game beyond it being a dating sim. I enjoy match. I enjoy match three games. I mean, you guys have seen that with uh, Battle Chef Brigade and such. Let's see. I want to bring this down one. How can I do that? I don't think I can. I think I might need to. Oh, also, I'm sorry. She actually didn't explain this either. What to succeed on the date? You want to make you want to fill this meter up. You want to fill this meter up before you run out of moves. Uh, every every match we make gives it what three? She gives it five. It's okay. I think it's because uh, she likes something that we're doing. Nope. She's just being nice to us. <laughs> Uh, one of the things I want to do with this series, I don't want to just play through the game. I want you guys to decide which character uh, we try to date next. There's different levels of date, as I'm sure you guys already know. Uh, so in the comments below, like for, for our first set of dates, I'm going to pick who we date. I'm going to pick our, our, our target, if you will. Uh, but past that, I'll let you guys decide in the comments below. Whoever has the most, oops, can't do that. Whoever, whichever date partner, I guess, has the most votes in their favor in the comments below, that's who we'll date next. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're done. Date's over. Date's over, ladies and gentlemen. We got some money. We got some money. Nice. See, I knew you had it in you. All right. So now it's Monday morning. First of the month. Oh, shit. It's morning already? We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you, and this is important. Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology, the Honey Bee 4.0. The Honey Bee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits. It's awesome! We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. To access the honeybee, all you have to do is right-click at pretty much any time. Or, if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. Go ahead, break that bad boy open. Alright, honeybee. Okay, so we got a couple things here in the honeybee. We have the tissue box, uh, which is used for wiping your nose or cleaning up other various bodily fluids, like blood. And then the dirty magazine is reading material that you only look at for the interesting articles. Okay. Okay, great. I think that's it for now. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. Let's talk to some broads. <laughs> All right, I'd be like, all right, or hell yeah, let's do this shit. That's what I like to hear. Now, if you want to meet a hot chick, you got to go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting, and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? I'm thinking, okay, like I said, I'm going to, I'm picking... Could we go for the first one? But past that, it's up to you guys. So where I would go, I would go where anybody looking for a date with a girl worth dating would go. I'd go to the university campus and not for the students. I'm going after the teachers. I got a thing. I don't know if you guys know this now, but I got a thing for teachers. Let's go to university campus. Good choice, Rookie. Couldn't have picked it better myself. All right, ready? Get your game face on. All right, so we have from our bedroom to the university campus. Oh, Miss Yumi, I'm glad I ran into you. Have you had a chance to grade our exams yet? Uh, remind me what that was on again? You know, the conservation of whatever you call it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think those are on my desk somewhere. Oh, okay. Do you know when you might be able to get them back to us? 
Later. Next week, probably. I'm sure you did fine, Tiffany. You think? I hope so. I don't know, I was having trouble with some of the material. Do you know what we're going over next week? I'd like to try and get a head start this time. Next week? I don't know yet. Actually, I have a pounding headache right now. Can we do this later, please? Yeah, okay. Sorry to bother you, Miss Yumi. No, it's fine. I'll talk to you later. Whoa, is this chick serious? That schoolgirl uniform is a little on the nose, don't you think? <laughs> She's cute, though. Blonde, too, so, uh, bonus points. Oh, yeah, don't worry. They can't see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Plot twist! <laughs> nah, I'm crazy real. I just hid myself from everyone so I can give you advice on the sideline. This is your classic girl next door situation. She's nice, so don't say anything to scare her off. But don't be afraid to take a chance. Okay, so it looks like they're gonna force me to go for the school girl first. I guess we're not. I guess we're not going for the teacher. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, excuse me, do you know where I can find the student union? I sure do. I know this place inside and out. You go past the building here and take a left at the fountain. You Got can't it. miss it. Got it. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you starting this semester? Yeah. Yeah, it's my first time here this semester. <laughs> <laughs> uh, think about it. Would you recommend this school? Of course. This place is awesome. My professors are the best. Sorry, am I holding you up from getting to class? No, don't worry about it. I'm all done with classes for now. Hmm. My name is Tiffany, by the way. It's nice to meet you. So this is Tiffany. You seem like a cool guy. Hopefully I'll see you around campus. No way! You did it! Well, with my help, of course. I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginner's luck. Don't let it go to your head. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago? Since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her too. Just bust out the honeybee and check out the girl finder screen. I'm pumped. You pumped? Yeah, you're pumped. Go get him. I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you need me. All right. So before we move on, because <laughs> we move it on, before we head on to date the teacher or or become friends with the teacher, uh, I'll explain this screen here so it makes a little bit more sense. Okay. Where to begin? Okay. Let's start all the way at the top. This here will blink when... I have a message from anybody. I could have a, a text message from Kiyu, like I said. I could have a text message from Tiffany. I could have a text from anybody that will appear in the game. This is my money. I use my money. M-U-N-I-E, by the way. I use my money to... <laughs> I can hear it in me. I know you guys probably can't. But I'm saying it a completely different way than I say the word money. There we go. My money is for uh, buying gifts and, and food and drinks and stuff. I'll explain that in a second. This is my honey. Once again, saying that completely different than how I say the actual word honey. Um, my honey. I don't remember. I don't remember what honey is. Uh, we'll, we'll come up in a second. Uh, talk to her will give me honey. I'll have a conversation with her. I can learn something about her, and I'll earn honey. Ask her on a date. We can go on a date. We'll, we'll play the match three game, and we'll and it will actually count. I'll need to succeed in a certain amount of turns. Oh, now what happens is every date that I succeed on, it scales. The next one will scale. The next one will be a little bit harder uh, than the one before it. View my inventory. That should be a little bit obvious. This is all the stuff that I have in my inventory. Um. Let's see, gifts and food, I can put stuff in this section here, and I can give that to all the girls in the game. Now, date gifts, these will show up when we play the match three game. Uh, anything in my inventory, I can preload in one of these two uh, areas, and then they'll show up as I need them. 
So, for example, if I had an uh, I had a food or food or drink or something that I can give uh, Tiffany, and I would have loaded it up here, it would show up here, and I can actually drag it to her. Girl Finder as well will go to find another girl. Should be should be a little bit more obvious than that. Um, we'll we'll be able to move to another location and find another person. We're actually going to use that to go find the teacher. Uh, check Tiffany's profile or check profile. Uh, this will tell us everything that we. There we go. Okay, everything that we need to know about Tiffany or should know about Tiffany. So, for example, Q mentioned that some girls like one quality more than another when we're playing the match three game. So, for example, for Tiffany, uh, she likes flirtation more. She likes the green shape more or the green uh, gem jewel more. She also dislikes sexuality. She dislikes the red. Uh, what was that? The red. I don't remember. It was a red gem. Whatever. Uh, so if we match the green one, we'll get bonus points. But if we match the red one, we'll actually get less points than we're supposed to get. <clears throat> this also tells, like, she likes these types of gifts. She likes these types of food and drinks uh, and her alcohol to uh, tolerance. When you give them certain foods, it'll fill them up. If they're, I believe it's if they're hungry, if, if this bar isn't full, Full, then they won't be able to go on a date i'm sorry if it's if it's it's either if it's full or if it's empty they won't be able to go on a date and then this bar represents uh how drunk they are basically how many drinks you've given them uh some people like drinks more than others and that all shows up down here at this screen as well and then purchase gifts uh we can go purchase some gifts let's go purchase some gifts uh as a shortcut it tells us what she likes and doesn't like so we don't have to jump back and forward between yeah. this and then go back and figure stuff out so for example she loves the academy gift types once again she's a school girl uh so if we get her some school-based gifts she'll she'll like it she'll she'll be happy she'll be ecstatic uh, and her unique gift type is cheerleader. So if we get her stuff that revolves around being a cheerleader, uh, she'll like that as well. She also likes rave and scuba gear, uh, scuba gifts, but that's not that's not her thing. So let's see, academy and cheerleader. So you see here the decorative pins. That's the academy. She loves those. Cheerleader. I'm gonna guess that's B. Uh, be, oh no that's rave you can see it right there under the name okay so that's for a rave glow sticks will be for a rave baby binky for a rave oh yeah that's the, one of the ones that glow in your mouth not like an actual uh binky got it let's buy her some decorative pins we ain't got all that kind of money <laughs> okay and then these are the unique gifts so hair bow she likes hair bows uh, what we can do is give this to her while we're playing the game. This is not uh, this is not for now, I believe. Actually, I'm sorry, it is for now, not for while we're playing the the match three game. Let's go ahead and give her the decorative pins. This is perfect. It's exactly what I needed. Now, when we gave her that, we got a message from Q and we got a new gift. I'll check that out in a second. And this is her unique gift. For real? Oh my God, I could kiss you. Okay, let's check this message real quick, and then we'll talk to her. Uh, okay, so she sent us two messages. Uh, I'll make you a deal. Every time you give a girl gifts that she loves, I'll have one of our interns send you a present too. Something you can use, something you can use on dates. Ah, I'm such a nice person. Ah, fairy. Uh, and then she sent us, before I forget, the money you earn during our date, you can use that to buy gifts, foods, and drinks using the store app on the Honeybee. It'll even detect which gifts the girl you're talking to prefers and will mark them with an icon. We've practically done all the work for you. Straightforward. Okay, one of the things, before we move on, one of the things I want to change, I feel like the background music might be a little bit too loud compared to the girls talking. So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. I'll bring it down just a little bit. All right, let's let's. Oh, let's talk to her real quick. We want to talk to her. Let's talk to her. What do you want to know about me? Okay, so that bar did go down when we talked to her. So basically, if she's hungry, if this has nothing in it, that means she's starving. Uh, she won't. They won't talk to us when they're starving. There's actual mechanics in this game, guys. Come on, come on. Okay, so what do I want to know about her? What do you do, like for work? I mean, I'm still in school, 
you, Dumbo. Yeah, Dumbo. Okay, so we've learned her occupation. One of the things that you actually have to do. Oh, I didn't change off the screen at all, did I? Okay. So these are her preferences. All these are her preferences. This right here is her actual information. These are things that we'll have to... We won't have to learn these things, but we will learn them over the course of the game. And it's actually really important. So you kind of need to be on your P's and Q's. And that's kind of why I want to focus on one character at a time. So this is Tiffany. Her occupation, she's a student. You dumbo. All right. So normally I'd go on a first date, but since we want a specific person, let's go ahead and find the teacher. The teacher's at Dawnwood Park. We found her already. We're on it. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. See you later. See you later. 